Hello, hi, I'm Alex Williams of Silicon Hangle, Angle here at Node Summit on the Cube. We do a tech event coverage like no one else. I'm here today with uh, a fine gentleman from, what's the name of your company? Can you tell us a little about what you know, who you are and what you're doing here? Sure. My, my name is Sachin Anand. I am the founder and CEO of WebMobi. WebMobi is a cloud-based app platform uh, for creating smartphone and tablet applications using HTML5 and Node.js. So we enable uh, creation of scalable mobile apps uh, that can work across all different uh, smartphones uh, platforms as well as uh, you know, available via uh, cloud-based URL. So we were talking a little bit before you came you know, on the show and you're talking about the app creation, I mean actually at building apps. Where is that marketplace right now? Can you t tell us a little bit about where the, you know, where the market is right now? I mean, we've seen this real increase in apps and, and people are deploying them by the millions. What is it that's missing? So, uh, uh, HTML5 has been uh, getting a lot of traction uh, since uh, 2011 and now we are at a transition point where now we have uh, th three different smartphone platforms which are getting a lot of uh, tra traction and developers really want to create apps uh, which are uh, uh, working with a single code base across all these three platforms and and the other legacy platforms as well so uh, I, I think that that inflection point is there where now we'll see a lot of transition to html5 based uh, development approach where uh, we can uh, use some of the some of the saas platform like webmobi uh, to create apps that can work across platforms yeah. So how does your, your uh, platform work? Uh, it sounds like you have a GUI for creating the GUI. So, you know, like a, is it sort of a drag and drop application creation environment? Yes. So what happens is like you go, go to our, our website, webmobi.com, uh, create an account, log in, uh, and then you have, uh, a pre, uh, like, uh, you have a UI editor. So in the UI editor, as you can create a UI, uh, uh, which where as you're creating the, the, the UI, uh, you can see how it's going to look like on different uh, phones. Um, and then, uh, then you can define uh, connectors uh, uh, w uh, which, which connect to our, our Node.js based backend uh, to create a scalable uh, uh, app. For example, like you have 1,000 users that you want to register, so you can define a user object and that you can link with our, uh, back, uh, our uh, front end UI. And then we have also built certain connectors uh, like uh, for most of the popular web services. So you can say add a, tw a social co component, Twitter, uh, 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 flat, uh, YouTube, etc. And then you can actually create um, an app rapidly um, uh, uh, with, with all these three things together. And with these apps are really scalable, so it, it, they can cater not only f to, uh, say, 1,000 users, but also to million users because we are using cloud-based approach and, uh, and, and create apps uh, from, from there. What are, how are you using Node.js? So Node.js, what, what we are, uh, so uh, we, uh, we have um, uh, on our, on our backend are, is entirely based on, on Node.js. So we, um, uh, we create these uh, REST API endpoints that allows a web developer uh, to create a client-side JavaScript uh, uh, code that, uh, uh, that, uh, that is working across all platforms. So we, we use those REST APIs that are, uh, that are talking to our Node.js backend and, uh, and, and, and using that. And plus, we're also using connectors. Those connectors are also uh, talking to other uh, web, web services um, uh, using, using Node.js. Why did you choose Node.js? Uh, Node.js, um, so I, I mean, like in terms of uh, we, are, we are a startup, early stage startup, and one of the big challenges is to um, unify the, the, the development environment where, uh, where uh, we, we are using HTML5 on the client side, uh, HTML5 and JavaScript, and then we also want to use uh, the same technology on the server side, and it really enables us to scale faster, where uh, somebody can, uh, where our team and myself, uh, we do development uh, both on the client side as well as we can switch over to the server side, so that is one advantage. And then uh, Node.js is really, per, uh, like in terms of performance, it's really optimal, uh, it, uh, asynchronous, and re really fast uh, to deploy, and the, some of the tools that are coming up are also like ExpressJS, this is really awesome, like, and, and it's really fast to, to develop compared to some of the legacy technologies. How complex are the apps that people can make with WebMobi? Uh, can you give us an example of something that someone's built? Sure. So, uh, uh, 
we have uh, built uh, certain apps like uh, for example um, uh, one of the apps that is there is where a, a, a mobile app where a user can a user account is created and then user can upload their content whether it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a photo videos and they're stored in our uh, in the in the back end and uh, and then it can be accessed uh, via, uh, uh, via via the mobile device and then you can do certain things with with those uh, with those apps so that is one use case where uh, you can have a cross platform uh, content access uh, um, uh, uh, mobile uh, portal where you can access that content across uh, from 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 different mobile devices that is that is one use case and then of course i think one other use huge use cases where um, uh, even um, to the point where a uh, lot of publishers have the existing web content and they want to have a, a mobile presence with of, of their of their web content so they can decide okay this is what they want to have on on the mobile and they can import that content from uh, using their existing web content so that, that is that is the second use case uh, how much programming background does somebody need to have in order to use this? Do they need to know JavaScript? So th that, that's a good point. So uh, we have different uh, uh, different tiered business uh, uh, model as well as we have uh, different uh, levels of uh, usage. So uh, for say for a small and medium business, they can just use our pre-built components and create um, mobile apps. Those mobile apps will just be talking to existing web services, and they might have certain uh, cookie cutter um, approach uh, they, uh, like storing form data, etc. Et uh, that they can uh, they can. Uh, uh, Rapidly build, but then uh, for uh, for uh, uh, medium businesses to enterprise level, uh, we have Node.js components that they can further develop and upload on a, on a server, and that requires definitely uh, JavaScript and uh, knowledge both on the on the uh, like mostly on the on the uh, uh, client side. And because we are using a packager uh, hybrid apps or packaging those uh, client side uh, JavaScript, so that enables um, the, uh, developers to just know JavaScript and not too much focus on the mobile specific intricacies. So we just have a few minutes left. Perhaps we could just end this conversation with giving us a little bit summary of what's next for your company. Do you have are you seeking funding? What are your what are your plans for the for the coming year? Great. So uh, we launched our, our uh, paid service today itself. So we want to uh, scale uh, and, and further grow and and acquire uh, acquire uh, customers both at the enterprise and business level. And, and definitely we are we are looking for uh, for uh, funding to further expand and and, and rapidly um, uh, acquire businesses. We also want to focus on certain verticals that allow us to uh, uh, create a niche, and that we are going to uh, uh, be announcing more in couple of uh, next couple of months and uh, focus on that and then expand from there. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for taking some time. Thanks a really lot. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.